Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I'm Manhur and welcome back to MS FT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to add and manage user authentication methods for Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication. Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication adds additional security over only using a password when a user signs in. The user can be prompted for additional forms of authentication such as to respond to a push notification, enter a code from a software or hardware token, or respond to a text message or phone call. Some authentication methods can be used as a primary factor when you sign in to an application or device, such as using a FIDO2 security key or a password. Other authentication methods are only available as a secondary factor when you use Microsoft Entra Multi-Factor Authentication or Self-Service Password Reset. Let's see how we can add an additional multi-factor authentication method for a Microsoft Entra ID user account. We can add or change authentication methods for a user by using the Microsoft Entra Admin Center or Microsoft Graph PowerShell. Let's access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can also use an account with the Authentication Administrator role to perform the steps outlined in this video. Just to let you know, we are using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. Expand Users and click on All Users. Choose the user whom you wish to add or change an authentication method. In this example, I'll select a newly created user Rachin Ravindra. Click on Authentication Methods. I have already deleted temporary access pass authentication method for this user account which we have created in the last video. The link to the last video is given in the description area. At the top of the window, select Add Authentication Method. In the Choose Method drop-down menu, choose Phone Number. And the user's phone number, including the country code. The Microsoft Entra Admin Center validates the phone number is in the correct format. The phone number must be unique in your tenant. If you try to use the same phone number for multiple users, you will receive an error message. Then from the phone type drop-down menu, select primary mobile, alternate mobile or office as needed. In this example, I'll keep primary mobile selected. To apply the phone number to a user's account, select add. Wait for the confirmation message. Successfully added phone number to this user account. In default sign-in method, we can see SMS primary mobile is selected. Under known usable authentication methods, we can see authentication method phone number is selected, but under details, we can see this is disabled by policy. Using the provided phone number, we can enable SMS based sign in for this user account. Click on Groups. As you can see, this user is a member of the security group named Test SMS Auth Group. We will use this security group to test SMS-based sign-in for the Microsoft Entra ID user account. There are three main steps to enable and use SMS-based authentication in your organization. Step 1. Enable the authentication method policy. Step 2. Select users or groups that can use the SMS-based authentication method. And last, step 3. Assign a unique phone number to each user account as we have just completed. Let's enable SMS-based authentication for our Microsoft Entra tenant. Expand protection and click on Authentication Methods. We will be on Authentication Methods policy page. As you can see, SMS-based sign-in authentication method policy is not enabled. Click on SMS. Click Enable to enable SMS-based authentication method policy. We can choose to enable SMS-based authentication for all users or selected groups. Set target to select groups. Now click on Add Groups and then select a test group such as Test SMS Auth Group. As you can see, a security group is selected. 
To configure SMS based authentication for first factor, check the use for sign in checkbox. Leaving this box unchecked makes SMS based authentication available only for multi factor authentication and self service password reset. Now click on save and wait for success confirmation message. The policy was successfully saved. On authentication methods policy page, we can see SMS authentication method policy is enabled for one group. Now let's again click on all users. Click on Rachin Ravindra. Click on authentication methods. And now check the default sign in method for this user account. It is SMS primary mobile. And under authentication method, we can see phone number is selected. And here we can see the user's primary mobile number. Now it's time to test SMS based sign in. Let's open new in private window. Type myaccount.microsoft.com and hit enter key. Add the sign in prompt and the phone number associated with our user Rachin Ravindra. After entering the phone number, click next. As we can see, we are getting message that this phone number is not registered. Let me enter the user's username here. After entering the user's UPN, click next. Enter user's password and click on sign in. Under security info, click on update info. As we have already provided the phone number using Microsoft Entra Admin Center, it is asking us to verify our identity. Tap on this message to receive a verification code on provided phone number. User will receive a verification code on the provided phone number. We have to enter the code here to complete the verification. Click on verify to complete the verification process. Perfect. Click on skip for now and click on no. On the sign in method, we can see this user has two authentication method registered, phone number and password. At the top, we can see a banner that now you can enable your phone number to be used as a username for sign in. Let's tap on enable to enable it. Click on enable again. Now this will enable phone number for sign in for this user account. Perfect. The phone sign in is enabled for this user account. Click on done. Let's sign out from this user account. Let's close this web browser. And let's again open new in private window. Let's type myaccount.microsoft.com and hit enter key. This time at sign in prompt, I'm going to enter the user's registered phone number. Let's click on next. Since now this phone number is registered, it won't give us any error. User will receive a verification code on provided phone number. To complete the sign in process, enter the six digit code provided in the SMS message at the sign in prompt. After entering the verification code, click on sign in to complete the authentication. The user is now signed in without the need to provide a username or password. We can confirm that user successfully logged in using the SMS based sign in method. Let me sign out from this user account. Let's close this web page and we are in Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Now, first of all, I'm going to disable SMS based sign in. Under protection, click on authentication methods. On authentication methods policies page, click on SMS. First thing which I'm going to do is let's remove the test SMS auth group. Click on this cross icon to remove it. Now I'm going to select all users, click on save. And now I'm going to disable SMS based authentication. Click on I acknowledge and click on save. Perfect. We can confirm that SMS based authentication method is currently disabled in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Now click on all users, click on Rachin Ravindra, click on authentication methods and let's delete the phone number authentication method. Click on delete. On confirmation pop-up window, click on yes. Successfully deleted the phone number. This is how we can add and manage user authentication methods for Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, 
please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.